The no Fate Channel. Checking in. Jonathan here reporting in from the ice barrel and summertime it's right around the corner it's spring now but it's literally 89 degrees out today and for many of you it's going to be really difficult to keep your ice baths actually cold in the winter time it's like a freebie in fact in the winter time it's almost like too cold you're going to break up that ice but in the summertime without a little bit of work and a little bit of preemptive thought your ice bath, yeah, it's gonna be a jacuzzi. If this is your first time to the channel, welcome aboard. I cover men's health, fitness, and of course, lifestyle. Many of you who've been subscribers for a while know that I love my ice baths, whether it's budget, whether it's the ice barrel, or even an ice shower. And one of the problems we have in the summertime, unlike the winter, is to keep your ice bath cold. And today, listen, we're gonna go through all of the tips, tricks, and cheat codes to keep your ice bath cold so that you can keep these these nuts frozen. One of the great things about the ice bath is that it is frankly movable. Once you drain that water, it is light and you can place it wherever you want and you want to place it in shade, preferably permanent shade, but if it's only temporary during the day, that's as good as you're going to get beautiful. You want to make sure that it's not in complete 100% direct sunlight because that is going to burn through all of your ice in no time. Another great tip is to make sure that you have as little water in the ice bath as you need. Many people will fill the ice bath up to the top thinking it's really cool when I get in and the water kind of flows out. The more water you have in here, the harder it is going to be to keep cold. So if you can reduce the amount of water, it's going to be more beneficial to the amount of ice you're going to need to get that temperature down. A lot of you think that your ice bath needs to be 33 degrees Fahrenheit. And the reality is you actually don't want it that cold. You want it to be between 40 and 55 degrees Fahrenheit. I prefer it around 45, but keep in mind when you're putting ice in, you don't have to actually put so much ice in that it drops that temperature down into the 30s. If you put enough ice in to get it down into the 50s, you're going to be very, very good because the temperature differential between the outside and your body and that water is going to be cold enough to have the beneficial effects that you want. Time out. You have all been using my affiliate links, which are in the description of today's video. When you use those links, they do support the channel and they support my ice addiction. Let me know when you use those links so that I can send you a small token of my appreciation. Ice baths have exactly zero insulation and that doesn't play a problem in the winter time, but come summer, you are gonna to have to be putting in a massive amount of ice daily. So help to help combat that, I would suggest to wrap or put some type of insulation, some foil or around your ice bath as, as much as you can. It's not gonna look great. It's gonna look a little bit gaudy and it's gonna be a little bit of an eyesore, but guess what? It will help keep the ice in there and keep your water from boiling over. And probably the last tip I can give you, and one that may seem obvious, but you know, sometimes we just need to hear it, mm. is to pay the man the money. Pay that man his money. I love my ice baths, but in the summertime, you're gonna have to be dumping in copious amounts of ice to keep this thing cold and keep it at the temperature that you want. So don't be shy about dropping 45 pounds of ice in your ice bath every other day. If it's something you enjoy and something that you find beneficial, don't worry about the money, pay the man his money. If you made it this far in the video, I wanna know from you, comment down below. How do you keep your ice bath cold? Do you have any tips or tricks for me? And what's the ideal temperature for you? What do you like that temperature to be? And do you like the water low so that you can sink in? Or do you want that water at the brim so it's all the way up to your neck? Easy peasy. I'm always curious what you're doing for your ice bath, so don't be shy, comment down below. And if you made it this far in the video, you and I are like Elsa and Anna. B.A. Baracus and Hannibal, we are Band of Brothers. Thanks for watching and thanks for staying till the end. As usual, don't say anything for the trip back.